To me, Mark Martin's 2003 season is easily top three on my bad seasons list. The way this team and him just fell off the map after finishing runner-up in the point standings in 2002 was absolutely horrid. Heading into the 2003 season, Mark Martin was seen as a title contender. In 2002, they completely turned their team around after a horrible season in 2001, seeing him win one win in the Coca-Cola 600 and finishing runner-up in the standings. They were pretty much coming into the season using the same formula as they did last year to have success. Well, the only difference is this formula pretty much blew up in their face. And passed Kurt Busch to check things out. That's something Roush Racing created there. Oh, uh -oh. Mark Martin in the six car, he's in trouble. That may be why Mark hadn't been running any better than he has, because he is. Sure, is that fatal there, Mark? Yes. And he might be glad it's fatal. Yeah, he And caution, caution well. is out. A big break for Kurt Busch because I think his car's all right, but he'd want to come to pit road and look at it. But I tell you, that is neat that you're out there racing and your teammate comes on the radio and says, Go to the inside of me, I'll look at your damage. That's something Roush Racing created between these drivers where they could talk to each yep, other. They have that, and Racing Electronics put together a system for Rick Hendrick. Remember when Hendrick's cars ran one, two, three in the Daytona 500? They had a dual channel radio system where the drivers could talk to each other or talk to their own crews. Very similar to what Roush has here. Certainly our prayers and thoughts will be with the entire Richard Childress family and friends. Trouble, trouble over here. The number six blew up again. Caution is out. And I'm going to tell you, Mark Martin just had drove blew away from again. Bobby Labonte. There you heard him say it. Two weeks in a row. Here comes. Elliot Sadler to 38, he'll get back on the lead lap. Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch, Jeremy Mayfield will not. Doesn't look like much moisture down out on the speedway. NASCAR we'll taking no chances, putting the first caution flag out of the day. It comes out at lap 135. A little trouble over there, guys. Two, three wide down the back stretch. <laughs> Somebody has to give. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. Somebody's giving, somebody's taking, somebody's giving and taking. And nobody wrecked. And Mark they, Martin. They do. Sideways. Here they go. I spoke too soon. Somebody had to wreck in that chain of events. And they're start, still spinning here to start finish. 30 line. car gets his lap back. 19, 19 car. car does. Now, Jeremy was three laps down, so he'll get one of those laps back. Ninth caution lap 199. They couldn't keep, it, it, it just accordions, as you said, and it just kept, somebody's going to pay the price sooner We're or later. that first pit stop. We got some crash car guys in the field. Crash cart. Now, Darrell, this wreck happened in the middle of the front stretch, but it all started about the middle of the back stretch. Dale Jr. got in trouble off of turn two, racing Kyle Petty. Yep. They carried that all the way around to here before somebody actually got wrecked. It started there, a quarter of a lap ahead of Mark Martin. Right. Now, you see the 99, he gets into Dale Jr., the 48 gets into the 99. The six gets into the, the 40. Nine, the 48 <laughs> goes down under the 99. He has to check up. Here comes these other guys and so on and so on and so on. Or Scooby Dooby Dooby. Maybe the driver can, Daryl, but can these cars react quickly enough to miss this kind of thing? Who made more laps? The cars on the track or Mark Martin making his way around his vehicle now inside the car? Mark, what happened out there? Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, it's too bad for the Viagra Taurus. I was really going good. They kind of wadded up there in front of us, and uh, and we got run over from behind there. I, I didn't, you know, I couldn't tell you. Sitting the car, ready to get back out there. They're working hard, guys. And now the crew, crew is looking it over. They believe they did, in fact, have a right side front tire going Trouble, down. Bell. Turn two, Mark Martin is in the wall. Sliding back in traffic. Man, yeah, that's scary. And those great race car drivers somehow missed him. That's the worst feeling for a driver when he's sliding down the racetrack into oncoming traffic. You're just waiting to get hit again. Caution is out. Radiator Third time in the race, and Mark Martin driving away. Anything else? What else, sir? He said the radiator is broken, and that's... All right, guys, let's get to a box back to the garage. We're going to have to change the radiator and work on the left rear. Or if that's what caused the spin is water under the tires. Well, let's just see, BP. No, nope, nope. I think contact. Yeah, I think that's what... Looked like uh, him and Earnhardt Jr. And I think he got tagged right there. That's what did it. He saved the car after he got bumped by Earnhardt. Michael couldn't get yeah, Michael, the... yeah. I see there's where the radiator damage came in when the left front came around and hit with the oh. outside retaining wall. Ward Burton just got underneath Mark into the grass. 
right along. All right, inside. Yep, he had it saved. He just got a little bump there from Michael Waltrip. And you hear him trying to start Gotta it up start right it away up, yeah. as soon as he came to rest there. Mark going to the garage, joining Jamie McMurray and Derek Cope, who have taken their cars to the garage recently. McMurray with a transmission problem. Tough break there. He was running in the top five. He's fifth. And you've got Kenny Wallace sixth, Kurt Busch seventh, Jamie McMurray eighth, Ricky Craven ninth, and a spinner down the front stretch and one into the outside wall. It's Mark Martin. Before we even get to tell you what happened to Mark Martin on his pit stop, he's into the outside wall. And, and Mark was in such a good spot when after you tell what stop. happened. Yeah, after the pit stop. And he had to come in, Alan, I'll tell you about that. But what a stop. Let's load this car up. Yeah. Mark came in, got fuel only on his pit stop, got off pit road ahead of all the other guys that pitted. But the catch can went with him out of his pit box. Yeah. He had to come back in. It put him back 26th in line. And that's what happens at Bristol that's when you get back in line. Exactly. I mean, you talk about track position. Well, track position will hurt you here at Bristol. Watch here. See, right behind the, four, the eight car, the six car leaves, and there's the catch can. Comes flying out of the box. You cannot take equipment out of the box. So he had to come in for a stop and go. The problem is he got back in the back of the pack, and we always say those yellows breed yellow, especially this time at Bristol. All right, here's what happened to bring out the caution flag. Top of the screen. Looked like Johnny Sauter and maybe Bill Elliott got tangled up. Mark just got collected. <laughs> Sauter came off the wall and just caught Mark in the right rear as he went by turning head on in the wall. Dave? Now let's catch up with Mark here. Mark checking out the damage and collecting his things. Mark, tell us about that. Johnny Sauter, he's... <laughs> He lost it. He's a weapon out there all night, man. I couldn't believe it. You know, and I see he's still out there running. I don't know. This wasn't our night. We had a, a great car. So it's just, uh, that just figures, you know. I, I really believe that we had a chance to win that thing. It looked like it from down here and up there too, guys, didn't it? No, oh, I mean, he had a great car and he was in a great spot. But unfortunately, that mishap in the pits put him in a bad position. Got a smoker into turn three. Mark Martin. Mark Martin. Caution is out. And that will bring Newman around. The lucky dog. That's second engine failure of the weekend for Mark Martin. He had one here on Friday. You can see the gloves already off, so he's obviously thinking there's no more work to be done today. You pretty much know by the sound and the vibration if it's going to be fixed. At uh, two for two in 2003 for engine failures at Atlanta for Mark. Back at Homestead Miami Speedway, the caution is out. Mark Martin and Ward Burton have just crashed down in turn one. Martin and Burton racing for 10th position at the time. No front tire issue there. No, it looks like two cars just simply got together. And that flame is in the exhaust pipe. What a difference a year makes. <laughs> so his 2003 sets are this. Zero wins, five top fives, 10 top tens, an average finish of 20.2, and would finish 17th in the standings. That's how bad it was. He didn't even finish inside the top 15. But don't worry, it wasn't all gloom and doom. He would change crew chiefs the next season and would make the chase for the next Hill Cup. But, unfortunately, he would go on for the rest of his career without winning that elusive Cup Series title. Probably the greatest driver of all time to never win a title. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.